So now you can hear me. All right. Dun, dun, dun. All right. I don't have to. I don't have to wait for the countdown to finish. Let's start it now. Hi. All right. Let me shut this music off. All righty. Hello, all. Let me just bring this up. Oh no, you can see my desktop. Gasp. Okay. Uh, can y'all hear me? Okay. My volume. Okay. Um, I'm always wait. Oh no, there I am. Okay, there's there's the microphone. I assume you can hear me. Um, the music goes hard. Thank you, uh, Sean the Dandy. I see some new people. Uh, I love how Stream Chat tells me if someone's new. Um, so we've got Hark Zeus, which is a fantastic name. Um, and I like I like I don't know that emoji that you've got there. I can't I I can't quite do that myself. Like the 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 I don't know is that. I don't know why she looks familiar. Um, that that girl doing like the neck dance, the whatever that is, she looks familiar. I can't quite place her. Um, Harco underscore I, hello, uh, dance ghosty dance and Pixie. Hey, hey Pixie cow, Christine. Hey Christine, um, Luna Cat Star. I like that name. Uh, Y'all have amazing names. Um, Sean the Dandy says, "Might have been my favorite scene of Blackwell Deception. Mine too. That's why I keep using it. I need to. I need to have another nightclub scene. Um, actually, I do. I do have like a, a nightclub, but not like a dance nightclub. There's a nightclub in Old Skies, but uh, too high resolution to have a big dance party. Um, and let's see, what's up, Mister Adventure King Guru? <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, but thank you, Trey." Um, let's see. I'm just uh, here. Dave. Hello, folks. I hear you. A wild Dave appears. Hello. Uh, Winfrey. Hey. And another first time chat person. Blue Lou. All of your names are amazing. <laughs> I never, um, I, I think maybe for a hot minute I had like a weird internet name, but I've always just used my name. Um, and like, I think when I first joined the AGS forum, I was I, I was like a, a, an old and ancient twenty three years old, but everyone on the forum was like sixteen or seventeen, and I felt like the old guy at twenty three. It was it was so I called myself Game Geezer, but that was a stupid name, and I eventually realized it was a stupid name, so I I changed it to just Dave Gilbert, and I've been Dave Gilbert ever since, or occasionally Wajedi, which is also boring, and another awesome name, Good Punk. If you're good, can you still be punk? Yeah, yes, you can. I'm going to say you can. So 33 people. Wow, awesome. Okay, so I have a lot. Uh, for the last several weeks, I've been working on voiceover. And so Ben has been sending me art assets and stuff like that. And I have been ignoring them. <laughs> so I've decided that today I wanted to um, put a dent in that list. So uh, we're going to do that. Um so let's see. First thing, there's a character. I'm just going to move this over to my other monitor. Um, I got my asset list Trello here. Okay, I can kind of bring it back now. Um, and let's see, what has he got for me? Yeah, so I got my Trello of, uh, that we share. Oh, yeah, and starting April 8th, um, I can't bring new collaborators onto Trello, which I hate. Fortunately, this one, Ben and I just use ourselves. Neo267, hello. Uh, so yeah, this is like uh, animations, gestures, background stuff, uh, in progress. Here's the stuff he's created, and when I create it, I move it over here. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shrink this down because uh, usually I, I I try to keep things as spoiler free as I can. Um, so let's see. Uh, oh, so he's got I got a, a bunch of map icons. And there is a, something he sent me today, which I wanted to do. Um, Benji. You know, I'll deal with him later. I'll do these three gestures. But first, I'm going to put on some music. Uh, I have a playlist of all of the music from all of our games, um, regardless if it, they're appropriate or not. Um, some of them are like little brief little sound effects that, that play for two seconds. But I'm just going to hit play all and then hit shuffle. And this is from Techno Babylon. Okay, so let me know if the mix is okay. 
Have you ever run into AGS limitations wanting you to create your own engine? I have never wanted to create my own engine. That sounds like a nightmare. So no. <laughs> there are AGS limitations, of course, but I've never been tempted to uh, make my own engine because I wouldn't know where to begin. Um, okay, so let's do some Danny gestures. That's something nice and easy to start with. Ooh, I like this. This is... Um, what, uh, what part of the game is this from? Prologue. This is from the opening prologue. Okay. Um, so, Danny is in the chapter called Time Doesn't Pay, and here he is, um, and he's wearing his jacket. Uh, you know, I'm just going to create another folder for gestures. Okay. So what do we have first? Shrugging. He shrugs. Skies, graphics, characters. Uh, these are all the characters that are in the game. Here's Danny, uh, Jacket, um, Shrug. Import all those. Boop. And uh, what's the other one? Dang it. What's the other one? Folding arms and scratching chin. Okay. Fold arms. I'm turning down the volume on my end because the headphones make that music quite loud. And uh, shrug, folding his arms. Uh, I think scratch chin was the chin scratch. Whoops, I don't have to spell it right. Who cares? No one's going to see that. Uh, Scratch chin. There we go. All right. Now to make those into views. So I've got the sprites. Now I've got to put the sprites in a loop. Ooh, this is um, this is the boat when they're on the boat in Blackwell Deception, and it's about to crash, and they have to they're running to get off the boat. Gesture, Danny, fold arms. So do I first I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Where was it? Danny, gestures, fold arms. Right. For some reason, and I don't know why AGS does this, um, it, it doesn't. See, it's got all this, this weird, because if you zoom in on it, it's got all this, like, these weird artifacts. Ooh, this is from Danu Guys. That's what this music's from. But it doesn't appear like that in-game. And if you do the preview, um, it's there as well. You see all these weird artifacts in there um, as Ben, like, erases and add things, adds things in whatever graphics program he uses. There's some, like, residual stuff remaining in the file that AGS can see when you import it and you look at it in the view. I don't know why it does that, um, but it does, and I have to deal with it. So, okay. Right and left. Left and right. All right, so fold arms. Now, uh, Danny Chin. BJ Danny Chin. Okay. Uh, this is from Unavowed, this music. I see there's a bunch of chat, but I, I kind of want to Focus on this before I start paying attention to you all. Okay. So if you animate this. Not that, I mean, not that I can really see how well it animates because of all the artifacts. Um, I brought that up with the AGS, like, uh, admin, you know, um, developers, but uh, they have yet to figure out what causes it. But it's not, it's not urgent to fix because it's not like it affects the game. So. There we go. Left and right. So now I've got the views. Now I need to add the gestures to the game, to the code, so the game knows. Okay. Uh, see 
Danny slot. Okay, there's his blinking. Um, let's see, here we go. Here we go. More gestures. Danny slot gesture, E gesture, fold arms. Uh, VG Danny fold arms. I got that. Now, slot gesture, E gesture. What's the other one? Shrug. Everyone's got a shrug. VG Danny shrug. C Danny slot gesture, E gesture. What was the last one? Chin scratch. VG Danny chin. Okay, so now that's in. So now I'm going to test them. I have a little testing room where I test all this stuff. So I'm going to pause the music for now. And I see some chat. Um, uh, Earth Techno Babylon has a banger soundtrack. It does. Uh, you can thank Nathan Allen Pennard for that. Um, all right. Let's see. Yeah, this is Fia in the 1870s. But now here's my little testing room. Um, first, I'm going to set my testing character to Danny. And now I, can, I have a gesture tester. Uh, fold arms. There he goes. He's folding his arms like a champion. There he goes. And now he shrugs. Ooh, no. He... Hmm. Okay, I have to do a little offset there. I don't, know, I don't know how well you can see it on your end, but his body shifts a little bit. That's no good. I have to fix that. Okay, that, that happens. And chin scratch. Okay, that one looks okay. I, I actually... Uh, all right. I, I know I have a program to do a little offset, and I forget what that is. All right. Um, okay, well, let's see. Um, gesture offset. Haha. -ha. Uh, it was the it was the shrugging. He gestured. Nope. He gesture shrug. Um, <sighs> I forget if the offset is for facing left or facing right. Um, all right, I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to assume it's facing right. So let's see if that works. Interesting to see AGS. Um, everything I do in AGS is custom. All of these functions, everything here is custom. It's uh, nothing that uh, works out of the box. It's like all these uh, functions and commands that I created myself just for old skies. Um, okay, let's see. Got to set the character again. Gesture, uh, shrug. Yep. Okay, that did it. There he goes. Now he's fine. It happens. It's easier to just do an offset than to like go nuts with uh, reimporting the animations. That's a pain in the butt. So yay. Okay. So now later on, I'm gonna go through his dialogue and add the gestures to various dialogues. But I don't want to spoil you, so I'm not gonna uh, do that. Speaking of, um, I'm gonna set stream mode now to true, and that will um, change their dialogue to gibberish. <laughs> so you'll avoid spoilers that way. I'm just gonna look at the chat here. I'm gonna turn this music back on. Um, I get it. I've created three engines in Unity. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Somehow I want to start over for each project. Um, wow, yeah, that, that's an, that's, uh, that is hardcore, Mr. Goodpunk. Interesting to see AGS, though. No experience with that. I'm cold, I'm wet, and I'm in New Jersey. Yeah. Um, not black, I'm not very kind to New Jersey in the Black Hole games. Uh, it's not clearing the frames. Yeah, I, I don't know um, why it does that. Um, it just does. It do like when you complete a solitaire game. Kind of. This is what I was talking about on a Discord. Dave CEO gives us live updates, but Mega Corpse like Tell 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 gives us silence as an option. I mean, they can't exactly do more than silence when they don't really exist anymore. <laughs> Tell Tell doesn't really exist anymore, as, as far as I know. I know there's like another company who's taken on the name, but um, <clears throat> they're not they're not who they were. Um, uh, the fall, the rise and fall of Tell Tell, I find. Kind I'm from Poland. I've never understood New Jersey bad meme. I don't know either. It's just funny. Um, my, my, a lot of my family's from Poland as well. Like great-great-grandparents. They all came from Poland. Um, I've never been to Poland myself, though. 
Because New York is better, lol, I can't deny that. When I went to NYC last year, we flew into Newark. I am sorry, Newark Airport's terrible. Newark, New Jersey itself is probably fine, but the airport is just... disgusting. Slacks says, hey, hey Slacks. This animation is so crisp. Thank you! Or uh, thank Ben, rather. Uh, tiny shift, yes. I'm just looking, I'm just skimming the chat here. Does AGS support any kind of real-time lighting? It does not. Um, OMG, have not opened AGS in ages. SSH! Hi! Oh my god, hi! Long time no see. Wow, I assume this is SSH. SS, oh my god. Uh, Andrew McCormick <laughs> from the AGS forum. I assume this is you. Um, wow, hi. And Netty Yeti, hello. Uh, okay, wow, blast from the past. Well, it says SSH AGS, so I assume you're the same uh, SSH. I have no opinion of the other NYC area airports. I opted for the one that gave me a direct flight from my airport. That's that's the best. It's like I have I have like a like a I'm part of like a mileage program for one specific airline, but if the flight on that airline costs several hundred dollars more than a different one, I'm going on the other one. <laughs> like it doesn't matter if I'm going to be uh, spending less later. I, I want to spend less now. I think this music is from Primordia. Uh, oh yeah, unique. All right, so let's see what's next. So I got him in. Um, what's next on my list? So I can I can mark these as uh, fixed. Move here when implemented. Okay. Oh my god. Move here when implemented. Move here when implemented. Liz, fold her arms. Ah yes, Liz has to fold her arms. She's like her and this there's these two characters that are just my absolute favorite characters in the game and I wanted to give them more gestures because they don't do very much whereas Liz she is in also in time doesn't pay Lizbeth gestures okay um, fold arms um. oh this is cake uh, Kendra playing Trollgate Let's see, oh, she's got a lot of animations, doesn't she? Where is her, um, she folds her arms somewhere. Fold arms, here we go. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is when she's trying to learn how to play the song on the piano. This is how I play everything on the piano. Fold arms. Oh, okay. Lizbeth. Gesture. Whoops. Gesture. Fold arms. Zoom in. Not that it matters because it's all artifacty and looks ugly. And I gotta flip all that because uh, they're drawn in the wrong direction. Excuse me. Flip. And now I add that to... Whoops. thing about AGS is that um, for the way it likes it, uh, it likes when you... Um, the characters have to have... Uh, their character name has to have at least four letters in it. And... Which is why she's Lizbeth instead of Liz. Uh, for various annoying AGS reasons. Um, let's see, where should I put her slot gesture? Here we go. E gesture, fold arms, V, G, Liz, fold arms. All right. You know, I'm going to keep a list of all the gestures that I'm I'm importing so I know, because I don't want to spoil you by going into the dialogue. Um, f yeah, Danny, he's got fold arms, scratch chin, and shrug. And Liz has got fold arms. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll go in after the after this is done, and I'll um. What is the flock? I don't hear any music. I don't even know what this is from. Well, I'll skip that one. Ooh, more Techno Babylon. Vishka's legacy. All right, who's chatting? Who's chatting? SSH SSH says yes, it is. It is I. Hello. Um, Mr. Jell says, Davin folks, howdy, hello. Uh, uh, 
Latazia, Mission 3. Oh, you're a tester! Awesome, so you, you know who that is. Um, funny how much of the music I recognize. Guess it's a good sign for a quality soundtrack. I agree. Um, still got the pink backgrounds of Doom. Um, oh, you mean the, like the magenta transparency? Is that what you mean? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by pink backgrounds of Doom. Uh, it's like a, like a forum search that doesn't admit words with three characters. I guess, yeah, I guess so. Um, but also the main reason why I do it is um, because the, the way it, the voice acting works, it's the, the files have to be the first four letter, letters of the person's, of the character's name. Um, and the way I've set this up is that I have um, the character and then the, the talking, you know, the head. And so it's usually like, you know, C. Arthur and then C. Arthur talk. And I can just do, it's the head that does the actual talking. Um, so as long as it's A-R-T-H, then it will still work. Um, but if I just did Liz and Liz talk, um, that wouldn't work. Uh, so I do Liz Beth and then I do L-I-Z-B and that works for both the head. And anyway, you don't have to know this. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all. Uh, okay, so what's next on the list here? that done. Uh, here we go. All right, let's see. Night gym door needs to open. He, so we did the night gym door. Let's get that in. Where is that? Uh, live adventure games. Kind of. Oh, Liz is your name. Oh, uh, Litazia. I guess Liz Tazia or I don't know. Um, all right, so the door opens at the gym at night. That's in chapter Times Champion. Nope, that's characters. Rooms, Times Champion, gym. Uh, there's a day and night version, but it only opens at night, so I'm not going to worry about it any other time. Um, boxing gym, door open. Sprite number so I know where to start and view room time champion. Okay, V gym door. And I don't know what this is from. This is what music is this from? Resonance. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's a door opening. And I have a... One thing AGS does that has always annoyed me, and I finally figured a way around it, is if you have a room object, um, you can only, like, call that room object and do animations and change the graphic and stuff from within that room script. So if I want to, let's say, you know, run an animation on a door, the door is a room object, and I can't just call... Um, normally I would call it O door for object door but if I want to call that from any other script in the game I have to remember the object number which I never do and so I, I, I figured out a way um, around that uh, sort of um, uh, let's see let's see Jim uh, April okay Tons of stuff here. <laughs> yeah, I've already like imported bloopers and stuff. This is one of them. Uh, let's see. Object. Okay, here we go. Why did Ben make it so big? I don't know why he did that. Okay. Now to try to line this up, which is always a pain in the butt. Move it and see if it shifts. It does, just a touch. So it needs to go like. Try to line this up. Nope. Maybe 51. Yep, there we go. So, O door. Um, it's door. Coordinates. 
for the little um, hot spot detection, detection thing. If you press the space bar, all the hot spots light up, and I have to give it a specific coordinates so it knows where to do that. Um, okay. I already have a hot spot, so I'm not going to make it clickable, but it will be visible. Um, okay. Let's see. So the hot spot. Object the hot spot of the door. So you click on the door, uh, you walk over to the door, and I think I have it. And I'm room door, it's uh, E door open. So she reaches out, and the door opens. Okay. Uh, and when you so now I can go to this uh, go to this function um, okay. if the player room is in um, 1870 gym night uh, so the object it's gonna do it's object number um, what's the object Object three. Object three. And the view is, um, I think it's V gym door loop zero. And now I can just call that. I could just say, Anim, like, anim uh, call the door open. And it checks to see what your room you're in. And it animates the appropriate door. And now I don't have to think about the object number ever again uh, right on so that's done and um, there is another place where a door opens um, when a character walks out let's see if I can find it um, where is it it's this music okay I don't I don't like this one what, what is this from Crash. I don't know what this is from. Primordia, maybe? It's probably it's good in game, but it's not, it's kind of making me anxious. There we go. Um, in isolation, it makes me anxious. In the game, it's probably supposed to make you anxious. Um, let's see. Okay, times champion. April. Uh, Simon. Simon. Here we go. Here we go, so, he, yep, yeah, Simon changed, I, I, I changed him to room negative one because he just magically disappears. Um, so Simon's moving, when he gets to the spot, uh, I can call Adam, Adam room door, the door open, and now I can have him continue to walk out. Yes, let's see. Uh, if he walks like here. What? Where is it? There it goes. Simon, walk. Uh, let's give it negative twenty nine. no way to easily test that without um, playing a chunk of game, so I'm not going to test that yet. Um, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll when, I, when I do a playthrough, I'll test it and see if it works. Make sure I'll save right before and all that. Okay, what's next? But at least it's in the game now. It's, it's in the game now, so... Uh, move. Here we go. And I see some chat. Let's see. I'm scrolling up here. Uh, Techno Babylon soundtrack still on my cyberpunk playlist. Awesome. Uh, that's really cool. 
I'm curious how Unavowed would be on the Steam Deck. Um, it's on it's on the deck. Uh, apparently, it plays very well. I haven't tried it out myself. I just got a Steam Deck, um, and so I, I've been playing a few things on it, mainly because I, I want to um, connect it to my television. Uh, there's a, it's it's nice. I hate playing games on my computer because I sit here all day and I feel like I'm still working when I'm playing games here. Um, would it be okay if I post a link to my latest Cyberpunk Adventures? Of course, of course you can. Um, is AGS still getting active development? Yeah, yeah it is. Um, there's a lot still going on. Um, playing the Blackwell series with my partner will always be a loving memory. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you, Neo267. I was doing a graphic adventure game ages ago, and it is funny that the solution to open a door was the same. Um, don't remember the engine. Cocos 2DX. Can't you use Odor I da, dot ID? I could, but the thing is, if I'm in a different um, that Odor, um, it's it's a local variable, and it only works within that room script. So if I go to a different script and I type Odor, it's not going to know what the heck I'm talking about. So um, I have to use the actual number. I just do. Um, I've said for years Black Will should be turned into a TV series. Thank you. The group broke before it was done. Dave would probably be great at screenplays. Oh, thank you. I've, I've never really tried one, but um, maybe. I'm too used to writing, like, non-linearly. Um, I'm not sure how good I'd be at a screenplay. Uh, kind of starved for point-and-click games recently, so I got myself Between Horizons last week. Between Horizons. That sounds very familiar. Um... A good one. I, I keep bringing up uh, Perfect Tides. That one. That's a good one. I don't know if you've played that one. That one's excellent. Um, I have such a massive backlog of games to play. As do we all. I'm the king of bittersweet endings. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, all right. What's next? Let's see. Um, oh yeah, the open power supply box is lit wrong. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I gotta replace that. That that should be easy to replace. I just re replace the sprite. Let's see. Uh, that is in Time Doesn't Pay. It is in the Speakeasy. Um, you can't have... You can't go to the 1920s and not go to a Speakeasy. It is... Um, it's a roll. Let's see. Uh, Alright, why are these two... Are these two the same? Um, oh, no, wait. Plugged and unplugged. Okay. It's going to replace from file. Ooh, speakeasy interior. Cable box. Uh, closed, open, and unplugged. Okay, so that is open. And this is unplugged. Oh, this is um, Lauren and Rosa from Blackwell Epiphany. This is one of my favorites. Blackwell is going to be serialized? Not as far as I know. Uh, Lacuna. I, lo I just recently played Lacuna. It's really good. Lacuna is excellent. I didn't know they made another game. Uh, is that recent? Did that just come out? If, um... Uh, that, I, oh, that's next on my list, I suppose. Because I loved Lacuna. I also recently played... Also on the deck. Um, oh my god. American Arcadia. That's really fun. That's really good. Put my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough on hold while I was working on my thesis. I love Baldur's Gate 3. Um, if only because, like, two actors I've worked with are companion characters, and it's so exciting. And um, another actress I worked with is the narrator, so that's cool, too. You have uh, Tom, uh, Sam Samantha Bayard, who was um, Thomasina Bateman, and Carlac, and Dave Jones, who was Saxnot, and... Halson. So that's that's always exciting. Um, if you like non-linear writing, maybe Charlie Brooker can hire you to do a Bandersnatch-like thing. Um, the problem is, if I do a Netflix series, I know it'll if it if it's if it's good, that means they'll cancel it. <laughs> so <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. Um, I played The Will of Arthur Flabbington recently. Um, that's um, I, I mostly because I wanted to see how they handled like. You know, the ghost thing. Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Okay, I want to. I want to see this room in action. 
Um, I'm going to pause the music. Sorry, Rosa and Lauren. Oh, compilation errors. Why? Uh, player room. Oops, forgot the two equal signs. Bam. Okay, I just want to double check that uh, location. So you'll you'll see a little bit of the game. I recently did something cool to that room. Um, let's see. If, uh, all right. I had to I had to do my own custom room select because it was getting unmanageable. Time doesn't pay. <coughs> Speaky Speakiest. But yeah, she she dances now, which I'm I'm quite proud of. All right, um, I'm gonna be updating this music because this is copyrighted. Um, all right, I'm just gonna, I think, Wurgle Nurgle Furgle. All right, I'm just gonna quickly skip through this. The the word the um the dialogue option text isn't uh, garbalized, but the rest of it is. So I'm just gonna quickly skip through it because I need to get the. Uh... All right, yeah, you try to open this and she flips out. Him. Blah, blah. Gotta go through all this dialogue before I get the option to turn off the lights. Tool. Right, I'm gonna save it just in case it. Ah, got too many saves. All right, I'll just. Don't way to go. No. All right. Why? Why did that not work? All right. Um. Come on, Ben. Did uh, he put it in a different place? Uh, let's see. Unless, let's see. Okay, did did he put it in a different place? Let's see. Uh, cable box dark. Here we go. All right, that's that's what I'm talking about. Okay, open and unplugged. There we go. That that should do it. Let's see. I just noticed what she's holding. Yeah, she's holding a Tommy gun. I, I, I did mention, this is the character I was talking before. I did mention I love her. Um, she's one of my favorite characters. On, on Twitter, though, I recently posted like um, some, like, some quick clips of uh, Arthur and her husband Liz just kind of being chaos demons around the city. Um, if, you, if you... They're there. <laughs> and what's really funny, this wasn't intentional. Not intentional, but the actors I got to play those two uh, were um, Frank Todaro and Sandra Espinoza, who played um, Eli Mandana in Unavowed. Total coincidence, but um, I kind of am tickled by that. Let's see. Right. I, I'm not sure. Let's see. Hopefully this will work. Yep. Okay. It's dark. Though it's hard to see it. Uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious what it is. Because you saw it when it was light. It's, it's fine. All right. No one's gotten stuck on that yet, so uh, I, I will assume it's fine. Latazia can tell me later <laughs> if it's if it's too dark to see, because uh, she's a tester. Um, and I see some chat. Let's see. Uh, Between Horizons came out a week ago. That's amazing. Um, currently playing Thimbleweed Park. Nice to see a game CEO is also a gamer. Yeah. <laughs> Downloading Zarathustra? I don't know what that is. Sorry, future VOD watchers. I don't know what that's referring to. Curious to see how the Phantom Fellows is once it's out. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the dev is a really nice guy. Um, he had me on his podcast once. Really nice guy. Your mom, dialogue option. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Gotta go. Good luck with the game. Bye, Andrew. I assume you've left by now. Um, uh, thanks. Glad you kept an open mind. Also skeptical towards the tech. Oh, you're referring to somebody else. Oh, regarding copyrighted music. Yeah. Um, that's a good point. Um, 
I didn't think of that. Well, we'll see. We'll see if that if that comes through in the VOD. All right, what's next? What's next? Uh, open south power supply. I got that. Move here. Um, I'm just I'm looking for like the easier ones. A lot of a lot of these I've been putting off because they're friggin' complicated. Map icons. Okay. Um, I have map icons for two different time periods. Uh, for like day and night versions of the same locations, so because um, right now I've got uh, the year 2001. Here are the map icons, but you return later at a different time of day. This is sunset, and then you come back in the morning, and you can f kind of flip between the two. And he created different map icons, so I am going to um, import those. All right. First of all, I am gonna get rid of all these tabs because they're driving me crazy. Primordia music. Uh, right, where is it? It's, that chapter is called Time Eleven because I am horrible. Let's see. Uh, it's characters, rooms. Time Eleven map buttons. Uh, I need buttons. Uh, November. Going back in November, so I'm gonna. Oh. Alright. I gotta make. F Since there's three different buttons for each location, I gotta make folders for them, or else I. Because it imports it so small, I can't see them, so I gotta make separate folders. Um, I don't need to spell this right, who cares? No one's gonna see it. Apologize. Washington Square Park. You don't go to the World Trade Center in November of 2001 for the obvious reasons. Uh, sorry, too soon. Let's see. I'm in New York, where I can make those jokes. Let's see. Uh, rooms. Where did he put the map? Um, oop, this is resonance. Uh, maps. Where did he put the map icons? Interface. stuff. Alright, I'll look in a previous um, open file explorer at the source. Oh! Under the map room. That makes too much sense, Ben. Okay. <clears throat> November icons. So here we go. We got Alley, which he called Murder Alley. How helpful. Nothing's ever changing. Go away. Hover push. I'm gonna, I have to click on him one at a time to put him in the right order because otherwise I'll be confused. Normal, hover, and pushed. Lose your focus. We don't visit this location in November, so I can delete that one. We don't visit that location either. I still remember this music. Normal, hover, and yeah. I remember spending ages editing footage to make a music video out of this song. Washington Square Park. Normal, hover, and pushed. And the tombs. You might remember from Unavowed. You visit them again here. And the Village Eye. You, you go to a few reoccurring locations. Wait, no, that's not right. Yeah, that was right. Okay. Okay. So.
If your lack of foresight, <laughs> now I gotta do a bunch of stuff by scratch. Um, scratch, how annoying. Okay. Alright, okay. No biggie. Consistent with how I named these things, which is uh, biting me in the butt now. Let's see here. Okay, where's the map? Uh, 2001. All right, so I gotta go through these one by one because I forget what I named these things. Okay, landing. Um, button landing. Uh, set map icons. So, uh, so now I gotta go to here. I now for the previous ones, I didn't put them in the right order. Um, oh, sure, I can just look here, can't I? All right, uh, here we go. Uh, six, four, and five. Sorry, I'm kind of, uh, none of this is probably making any sense. Because I just got state in my head and I'm trying to figure it out. resonance as well. I think this is Ed's apartment. Seven, I'm not one of these streamers who just sort of like just chills and sits back and does stuff. I'm from a bo I used to I'm from a broadcasting background so I always feel like I need to talk and fill the space with chat. feel like I'm leaving dead air. But let's see. And then the mouse over. And the hover pushed is this one. Alright, and Washington Square Park. This is all places Dave used to live near. I used to live near Washington Square Park. Basically, all the Blackwell games, it's just like a tour of places Dave used to hang out or live near. that watching me like code a game is exciting in the first place but y'all are here all 36 of you wow y'all are still here this last one is of the tunes okay can anyone remember what 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 music uh, what game this song's from this tunes from because i don't remember trying to place it, and I cannot. I'm going to check. It's from Gemini Roo. Okay. I don't remember where in Gemini Roo. It is called <laughs> Gemini Roo OST? What? No. Surgery Room. Okay. It's apparently from the Surgery Room. Okay, so now i got to do the same thing again for... Oh wait, no, that that was November. All of those were October, so I gotta put these um, here in under October, 
and then I got to do the same thing again for November. Uh, yeah. But I don't need to bother with Nick because I don't need to go back there and I don't need to go to the World Trade Center because obvious reasons. Um, okay. Fortunately, I, I imported those in the right order, so I should just be able to go like that. Seven, and then eight, and then that should be it, right? I'll just double check. Yep. Okay, village I. Same thing. Okay, 50 and 51. And is that correct? That's correct. Washington Square Park. Okay. Uh, 53 and 54. And the last one oops, is the two ones. 14 and 55. Alright, so now I'm going to test that and see if it works. I'm going to pause this for now. To the tower! That sounds like Primordia. And I see some chat. Damn you, past Dave. Yeah, I say that a lot. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to scroll up the chat here. Um, When I look away from the screen, it's like Peter Fielding. Oh my god, I forgot I did that voice. Um, yeah, originally it was another actor um, playing Peter, uh, but then I ended up changing a huge chunk of his lines. Like, I resisted changing the lines because I didn't want to have to bring back the actor. But eventually I just realized I had to because the original story I had just wasn't working. And, um, but I, and I couldn't bring back the actor for some reason. Um, I forget why. So I just did it myself. Let's see. I'm gonna sneeze just a second. I'm gonna mute it. There you go. Alright, so I can go to, I think, month switch on. So now we're in the wonderful year of 2001. And here's all the map icons. Uh, you can tell it's 2001 because you've got internet cafes, CD burning, color printing, uh, video shops <laughs> and a cupcake store early 2000s New York full of friggin cupcake shops because there was one episode of sex in the city where she went to a cupcake shop and that that cupcake shop it was a real cupcake shop became super popular like it became swamped lines around the block and so other places were like oh cupcake shops are suddenly popular we'll make a cupcake shop too and they be they were everywhere um, anyway, so now let's flip to November. And this is after September 11th, so you got all of this iconography. And that all looks... Uh, the Lazadi don't actually go there, but I, it's still on the map. Um, yeah, she says she can't go there. Go to World Trade Center? Yeah, she can't go there either. Yeah, that all looks right to me. You can flip back. There we go. Yep, okay, that looks good. Hurrah. Okay, I'm just going to look at the chat here. Um, alcohol and guns, what can go wrong? I, I don't know. Uh, is Primordia the game with the most variations of endings? Um... No, there's like there's two endings. Oh, there's a few, but they're all bad except for one of them. <laughs> Unavowed is kind of the same way. Uh, uh, let's see. Shardlight ha technically has different endings, but only one of them is really good. Um, let's see. I'm just skimming through the kind of a Vox Populi resistance leader who starts acting for more brutal. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I tried to do a dev stream once. It was total chaos. Didn't get anything done. I neglected the audience. It's interesting because I feel like it helps me focus. 
um, mainly also, here's another thing I've been doing, is that um, I've been recording all this voiceover, and I have been like, oh, I record it, and now I want to hear it in the game. So then I spend days editing it and processing it, splicing it, and getting it into the game. Um, but I, there's still so much work to do on the actual game, none of that is getting done. And so I keep thinking, okay, today's going to be the day I'm going to actually work on the game. Oh, but maybe I'll do this one voiceover file. And then another day goes by. And uh, I, I need, to, you know, this game has been taking so long. It all stuff that needs to get done, but there's things that I, I need to get done sooner than others. And and making the game fully playable is, is one of those things that I really need to do. And doing a stream is sometimes, sometimes helps me focus. There's a lot of times where I stop and I start talking to you all. But um, I can't, like, start drifting off to Twitter or something or, you know, start, you know, messing around or, you know, not or doing things that aren't work related because y'all are watching me and you'll shame me for it. Uh, let's see. Who doesn't love a crying Statue of Liberty? Yeah. Like, I, God, I was I was in New York when that happened, you know, it, and it's uh, it, it's been weird revisiting that with with that story. Um, I remember, like, all the uh, the missing pe missing person signs and. Uh, yeah, the, the the crying buildings and the crying Statue of Liberty. And one thing we threw in there, which I was debating, you know, uh, to throw in there was like all this Julia, Rudy Giuliani um, worship. Like we we loved Rudy Giuliani. Like we just adored him back then. Because you go through something like that, you look, you look for a leader. You look for someone, you know, who's in charge. Yeah, you know, someone who's like, you want to believe that someone's on top of things. And he said all the right things. You know, he did all the right things. You know, the, of course, later we all know he went off the rails. But at that time, uh, we loved him. Um, you know, it's like during um, the height of lockdown, COVID lockdown, it was scary, you know, not having someone capable in charge. But New York's governor, uh, Cuomo, he said, again, said all the right things, did all the right things. He just showed some basic competence and everyone adored him for it. Like we and meanwhile, like I'm normally no fan of, of Cuomo. Um, but, uh, at that time he was what we needed. Um, same with Rudy Giuliani at the time he just said and did the right things and that's all we really needed. And we loved him for it. Uh, let's see. Either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack with that guy. Just, um, Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to go there. <laughs> There's a lot to, in fact, I could rant a lot about him if I let myself. But we, um, we actually do have an I Love Rudy sign in that map uh, somewhere, do we? Yeah, we, yeah, I do. We, I, I threw it in there because I thought, you know, there's, there's just nothing more, nothing more exemplifies that snapshot of history than a piece of graffiti saying how much they love Rudy Giuliani in the wake of September 11th. That's just like, you know, that would never have happened any other time. Um, anyway, um, enough of that. Uh, okay, so I can, I can move all of these out of the column. Awesome. All right, I can just move all of them out. All right, look at this. The column's getting smaller. Cool. time is it? Oh, good. It's only two o'clock. Perfect. I allotted myself two hours because I have a, to take my daughter to an appointment at uh, about 4.30. Okay, let's see. Uh, kicking a trash can. That seems like it would be easy, but it's actually stupid complicated. Um, let's see. Anything here that isn't complicated? <laughs> let's see. All right, I'll do Benjamin's Idol. That one's a bit of a pain, but let's do it. Okay, Benji. Whoops. Oh, music. Yeah, let's get the music back on. Hello, Jer Bear Art. Jer Bear. Um, yep, I'm working on Old Skies. Uh, let's see, where is that folder? Here we go. Sprites. Characters. The clock blocked is the name of the chapter because I'm a mature. Um, no, not Sam. It's Benji, and he's got his idol. And 
Ben said he set it up a very specific way. Let me see if I can find it. Benjamin. Um, pull out reader. I had him, yeah, so he pulls out a little pad thingy. And, uh, and then he starts scrolling it. He's scrolling the reader. Um, okay. Okay, this should be easy. Um, so, uh, so we start the idol by having him take out the reader. Pull out the reader. So he pulls it out, whips it out. Okay. So he starts and then he, like, idles away. Um, where is it? Scroll reader. And then I can just do the start uh, in reverse. So, okay. I have a function for this, but first I need to make views for him. Let's see here. Characters, chapters, clock blocked. I always forget if it's clock blocked or clock blocking. I don't think it really matters. Uh, the joke is terrible either way. Uh, so now let's see here. Have him do his idle. Ben idle. So he. Um, okay. View. Benji idle. Eh. Oh, actually, no, that, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. Um, I don't need to do that. Uh, I can... Here we go. I can just put it in this regular animation. Uh, direction he's starting from, but I can do it either way. Um, all right, and now he does his... You know what? No. He always faces to the right. That, that, that makes... We'll just make this easier. He's always facing to the right. gesture, he reverts, uh, so he needs to animate, whoops, this is shard light music, uh, it's number 11, no, he, dang it, he does occasionally look the other direction, okay, all right, okay, all right, whatever, you know, I, I, I tried to be clever. I did this game in a completely different way than any other game, and things that are normally quite simple, I ended up making may, way too complicated for myself. Uh, so I can't just do idols the way I do idols for every other character in any other game. Um, I gotta do it. I gotta... Ah, anyway. Alright, so... Um, if Benji uh, is facing right... Okay, so if he's facing right, do these. Okay. Um, he's doing, uh, doing 11. Uh, 
speed of four once block forwards whoops and then this is Hobbs Barrow music this is in the fancy garden with little Thomasina and her dad uh, and then no block okay so right that's going into the animation um, else okay it's if he's facing the other direction it's 13 and 14 all right this isn't isn't so complicated not so complicated to go out of that animation uh, else if this is engine okay if it is current loop equals all right uh, equals 12 then play 11 backwards <laughs> Set his loop to two. And else. So it's fourteen and play. Dang it, wait. Let me screw this up. Play thirteen. Okay, that should do it. Um, now to test it, how do I test this? Um, where is there a room? There's no room where Benji, I could just go to where Benji is. Mm. All right, I need to use my testing room. Test idols? Well, that changes now. Let's create one. Test idle. Um, button debug. Uh, test idle. Okay. And debug animation. Else, if control equals test idle, uh, let's give test idle. There we go. So now I need to make a function for testing idles. Um, test idle. All right. So um, how do I get the? How do I do test characters? So, I have a button where you can choose a character. You know what? I'll do that later. I'm just gonna put Benji um, place at 500. Um, move his Y position facing right. Whatever. Uh, and I'll remove Fia. I don't want to see her. Um, start. Whoops. Function called Anim Start Idle. Anim Start Idle. Here we go. All right. Let's see if that works. Let's do it. I see a bunch of chat. I just have a lot of state in my head, so I'm just uh, when I get when I get to that, I will let's see. What? Structure required on the left side of the dot. Whoops, there's a dot. <laughs> that should not be there. All right, I'm going to pause this for now. Ooh, the new guy's music. Do, 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 do. Anyway. All right. Um, and 
animations test idle. So he's reading and he's scrolling. But he only scrolled once because I forgot to set it to play continuously. Um, e repeat. Yeah, I'm pretty good about keeping away from spoilers. That's why I don't do dev streams too often, because I don't want to spoil people. Yep, there he goes. He's idling away like a champion. There he goes. But I need to I need to make sure he can put it away at the same time. All right, so let's uh, let's do that. Um, so I'll wait like a hundred cycles. Uh, Benji Anim stop idle. Okay, wait like fifty cycles. And now let's let's test the other direction. Uh, face left, and we'll do the same thing. Okay, so let's see if that works. Uh, quick. Uh, stretch. Don't mind me. Uh. Um. Scroll, 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 scroll. Puts it away, and he turns, and he scrolls away. Yep, yep, yep. And he. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna go through the code later and put him where he needs to be put. Um, so these are just the things that I've put into the game, but uh, haven't quite like connected up yet, um, because that would that would spoil it. Um, if I go into the dialogue and like, you, I don't want to spoil that for you. Um, so let's see. But I can mark that as done. All right. What's next? What's next? What's next? Oh god, the rest of these are so complicated. <laughs> I've been putting them off for the longest time. I should probably do one of them. Um, it's also complicated because they're at a very specific moment in the game that is hard to just get to. I can't just say, jump to this part of the game. It's actually very complicated. There's a lot of variables that need to be set in very specific ways um, in order to just jump there. And um, I guess I could, let's see. Uh, all right, I guess I can do this one. There's the, uh, the workshop glows and stuff. Ben added those because he thought that um, the scene needed a little bit of something. Let's see. Um, leaves workshop. Let's see, where is it? Workshop. Here we go. A light pulse. What is this? Oh, that's cool. All right. That's really neat. All right, I'm going to throw that in. That's not too hard. <laughs> the new guys. I still have a soft spot for that game. Alright, I'm gonna look at the chat while, while bopping away to the new guys' music. First time chat. Mr. Bungler. Your names, guys. Hey there, just wanted to take this chance to thank you for all the amazing games. Thank you. Um, wish you a much nice success in the world. Oh, thank you so much. The excavation of Hobbs Barrow is on this month's Humble Choice. Yes, it is. Um, is that out already? Has that already come out? I thought it would be much. I thought it was going to be later in the month. Um, and the Thy Gate. Thy Gate, is that how you pronounce it? Came in to say hi. Love your work. Don't want to stay because of spoilers. Well, if you're still here, like I said, I try to avoid them. <coughs> I mean, the thing about this game, um, if something does get spoiled, the thing about this game, it's time travel. Like, something happens and then gets undone quite a lot. 
So even if you learn about something, it might not be as spoilerific as you think. Even if so-and-so dies, they might not be dead. Um, or they might come back. And also, it'll be a long, it'll still be a while before this game even comes out. So you'll probably have forgotten it by then. <laughs> so, and also I, um, I have this uh, variable that I set that turns all the dialogue into gibberish and removes the voice acting. So um, you won't get spoiled that way either. What do I think about the potential of AI in games? I hate everything about it. I despise artificial intelligence, at least in terms of... I mean, here's... Like, okay, like real talk, I think it can be a useful tool used very simply. Like, I used to use, like for Unavowed, I used the fantasy name generator to come up with character names. A lot of people use stuff like that. And now you can just use AI for the same thing. Like, I would type in, you know, give me 10 potential slang words... Like, sci like sci-fi futuristic slang words for being drunk. And then I'll look at what it gives me and think, oh, maybe hey, this one's, maybe if I like change this around, this one will work. And, but maybe I'll, I'll use this instead, you know, just as a tool to like springboard, kickstart my imagination or whatever. I think that's fine. <coughs> Used as a tool for artists and creatives rather than replacing them entirely. I think that's terrible and kind of horrific. It's like, you know, advances in technology are supposed to free people up to do things like art and writing and creativity. Instead, it's replacing the artists and creatives. That seems to be the that's the com that's the conversation that people are having, and it's always um, I, I have thoughts about this. Uh, any advan major advance in technology, take the internet for example. The internet was seen as the great like at the beginning, it was the great leveler. It leveled the playing field, right? It was the people in charge <coughs> who, excuse me, who were scared of the internet. It was the executives, the CEOs, you know, the, the people in charge who saw the internet and they saw themselves as getting obsolete. They were scared of it. But, but with AI, it was so quickly embraced by the people in charge and that should scare people. That, that should scare people. It certainly scares the hell out of me. Um, I would never use AI to like create something out of nothing. I would never replace a voice actor. I would never replace an artist. I would never ever do that. <clears throat> I have I have opinions. Uh, and yeah, like what Mr. Dell just wrote, like a lot of the AI models are trained on stolen stuff, which especially the AI art, it's trained on stolen stuff. Um, yeah, it's publicly available on the internet, but um, it, it, it's still, it's used without people's consent. You know, you never know how it's going to be used. And I think it's, I don't swear often, but I think it's very shitty. Um, I read an article about I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream at It that they don't make bad endings anymore. I mean, <laughs> we've had some bad endings. Uh, I'm not going to say which games because I don't want to spoil LL, LLMs don't ask for PTO or insurance. No, they do not. Uh, use AI for prototyping? I have used AI for, like, um, quick placeholder art, uh, uh, but I would never use it in the actual game. Because um, if I need something specific, like, uh, like yeah, I would never use it in the actual game. Uh, I would use it for placeholder stuff, maybe. And even then, I felt really cheap doing it. I, I didn't like doing it. Um, All right. That sounds like resonance. Is that resonance? That is resonance. But I'm going to skip that one. Choking. Um, I don't know what game that's from. Who gets choked in any of our games? I know Lauren gets choked in Blackwell, but this is not that. I would recognize it. This sounds a little shard lighty. Maybe it's shard lighty. The games I didn't write myself, I'm not as familiar with the music. Um, oh, right, okay, I, know, I forgot what I was doing. Let's get, let's do the actual work that I'm supposed to do. Uh, okay, break room, Benji's office, okay. Light pulse, this is Blackwell for sure. Okay.
clock blocked. No, I don't want characters. Rooms. Clock blocked. V. Um, light pulse. Alright, so. Place with all sprites from the folder. Let's see here. Oh, this is nice and chill. I like this one. Let's get that in. That room is uh, clock blocked. Like that joke's not even like funny to me anymore. I, I, I say, oh yeah, clock blocked anyone else and they like, they give me a funny look, but now I'm just so used to it. <laughs> it's no longer funny. Or rather it's no longer like, I, I no longer realize it's meant to be funny. <clears throat> it's like the name Solid Snake. You kind of forget that it's a little bit rude. This is definitely shard light. Okay, where? Um, this goes up, 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 up. Is that about right? I can't quite tell. Uh, let's see. Nope, it needs to be up a little higher. And this needs to be over a little bit more, I think. Let's see. Up. Zoom in. Does that match up? Something is this high resolution. It's hard to get it lined up perfectly. Uh, I gotta like move it off screen so I can see if it jumps. Jumps a little bit. Okay. Goes up. So let's bring it down to. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now I want to make it unclickable because it's just a background detail. Um, I'll give it a low baseline so you can walk in front of it with no problem. And now let's get it animating, shall we? Um, o, light pulse. What did I call this thing? Pulse. O, pulse. Animate. Um, oh, wait, I gotta set the view. Set view, um, <clears throat> the light pulse, zero, zero, oops. I got a new keyboard recently and my muscle memory of where all the keys are is completely messed up. I keep, I keep wanting to press the period, but I end up pressing the, the, the backslash and I keep messing things up. Animate, uh, loop zero, delay of four, repeat, no block, forwards, Bam. Okay, so let's see if that works. That is uh, that sounds shard light. Nope, that's Blackwell. How did I? Oh, because it's a bonus track that I didn't use in the game. That's why I didn't recognize it. Okay. How do you guys insert the Easter eggs into the games? Which Easter egg? I mean, you, you add an Easter egg like you add anything else. Uh, okay, what what room was it? Sixty-three. Can I just zap to sixty-three? Yep. All right. Nope. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That that works. First try. Hey, first try. Looks good to me. Okay, so that that's in, that's in. Uh, light pulse. Bam. Okay. Dodecahedron glow. What is that? That is. Oh, that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, it's just this like background detail but he made it look so cool that people are going to think, oh, this thing is important, but it's not. It's just something he drew that looks cool in the background, but whatever. Um, I'm not going to spell 
Decahedron. Decahedron. I spelled it wrong, but I don't care because no one's going to see it. Do but he called it Doglo, which I think is I think is a better name. So I'm going to refer to it as Doglo from now on. It's a Doglo. It's there. It is there. The Doglo. It's the Doglo. And I'm calling it Doglo. Oh, Doglo. <laughs> okay. I'm having. I, I definitely reached the punchy stage of the stream where like. Everything is funny, even though it has no reason to be. Um, okay. I think that's correct. Is that lined up? Nope, a little bit farther to the right. And nope, a little bit farther, a little bit back to the left. There we go. Um, unclickable. Baseline at one. It's visible. And it is called a uh, Doglo. And I need to create the view for it so I can animate it. Where is it? All right, I'm going to. Uh, where's the views? Where are the views? Where are the views? Um, here we go. V do glow. All right, I'm doing this the cheap way go through a few menus and import all this at once, but I didn't do that. This is definitely primordial. I think it's the Underworks. Nope, just Metropole, City of Glass and Light. Yes, I like saying the word Doglo, and I'm going to say it a few more times. Doglo. I'm going to have it start later. Funny how I thought these would be a lot more complicated than they were, but uh, oh neat! It 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 it's a it glows. That's super cool. Oh my god, that is really cool. Although it looks so important, it it looks really important. Like it it makes it. Um, I don't know. I feel like I, I need to give it some interesting backstory because that looks important, doesn't it? It really calls attention to itself. Um, I think what I here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna give it um. At the beginning of the animation, let's see, I'm going to give it a big delay of like 30. That way it doesn't, it doesn't constantly go. Um, it, it delays a little bit before um, it does the next glow. The dough glow doesn't go, yo. There it goes. So that goes once. And that's still too fast. Oh, right, because I, I have a much... I, I still have this, like, mindset, because I set the, the frame rate a lot higher for this game, and I still have, like, the old standard low-res frame rate in mind. Um, and I gotta, like, triple everything up uh, to be where um, it's supposed to be. Have I ever read the TV Tropes entries for my games? Yeah, I have. I have. Although TV Tropes is, like, you know, should come with a warning label for the obvious reasons. So it goes once, and uh, that still comes too fast. That delay does nothing, does it? You know, maybe, maybe because it, uh, let's see, I'm just going to, all right. Do I have to make this even bigger? Let's see. 300, delay of 300 just seems like a lot. But things just tend to go a little bit faster. Um, Don't touch it or you might get transported to an alien asteroid. 
Uh, it's been so long since I played the dig. Um, okay, it's taking its sweet time. There it goes. Yeah, that's, I think, enough time. That's enough time. There we go. Yeah, I, I'm happy with that. Okay. Bum, bum. Actually, maybe it should be a little faster than that. Uh, I'm going to give it like 200 instead. That should be fine. I can fiddle with that later, um, but I'm happy with it. Okay, so I can mark that as done. Uh, dodecahedron. The do glow. Yo. Um, let's see. I see some chat. Just spent five hours in Raven Rock talking dark elves. Okay. Not sure what that's referring to. Um, Hopkins FBI music? I never played Hopkins FBI. Um, funny stuff could be added in the commentary. Um, I don't know what funny stuff you're referring to, sorry. Uh, my second favorite platonic solid. I assume that was a reference to me saying Solid Snake a while ago. Uh, Doe glow, go with the flow. Joe does know, don't blow your grow. Row with the crow, mo yo yo. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, all right, all this kicking the trash can, that is actually super complicated. Um, actually, no, not too complicated. As I'm replacing one set of animations with another, um, because we realize that she kicks the trash can from one side of the trash can, but she needs to kick it from another side, um, from the front. And so Ben redid them all. Um, but that code is like a mess of spaghetti. Uh, I'm scared to touch it, which is why I've been putting it off. Uh, anything else? Let's see. Uh, anything else that won't break my brain to do? Um, spray bottle light shaft. I'll throw that in too. Sure, why not? Oh, that's cool. All right, that's neat. Um, I'm not sure how that works in practice, though. Eh, whatever, I'll just throw it in. I'll deal with that later. bit um there we go some some of the game's music is just a little too off-putting for just doing a stream on uh they work great for the game but like just in practice it's just like you know a lot of strange land music not really good in isolation great for the game but in isolation it's a, it's a little um distracting and off-putting some of like the heavy industrial stuff in Shard Light and, and Gemini Ru doesn't work either. Um, they work great in the game, obviously. Nothing against the music. It's, uh, it's, uh, again, I gotta make a view. Okay, V um, gel shaft, I'll call it. Because you make gel out of it. GS view preview doesn't show alpha channels. This looks like a big blob. Debating whether it should only animate when you run the machine, but it's such a subtle animation, I'm not sure if that's even worth it. So the 
this is a nice one. This is a nice piece of music, yeah. But I think this is um, going to the weather tower for the first time. Yep, there it is. Yeah, it's such a subtle animation. It's cool, but it's subtle. It's super subtle. Um, but it's cool. Alright, I'm keeping it. Alright, <sighs> alright. Right. Let's see what's next. I thought, for some reason, I thought those would be complicated, but they're not. They're just background animations. I thought, like, the. Um, okay. So, what can I do? This we don't need, do we? because uh, we did all the World Trade Center stuff. Um, ah, this column is getting nice and small. Uh, okay, Fia hit trash can. Pulling the trash can and kicking the trash can. A lot of trash can stuff. Okay, let's do that. Okay, Fia... Suits, corporate outfit, um, pull. All right, I'm gonna. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna remove the original one, uh, just because for complicated reasons, <laughs> too much to get into. So I'm just gonna keep it and um, just add another folder for opening the trash can. So this is uh, pulling, trying to pull the lid open. Okay, um, hit trash can, kick trash can. Um, where's opening it? We don't have opening it? I guess she opens it from the same spot. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That That makes things easy. Um, but she hits it from a different angle. All right. <clears throat> All right. Hit trash can back. Whoa. Okay, so let's replace that. Let's see. So, Fia. Fia suits. There's so many different suits she wears. I call this her corporate suit because she wears it to a um, kind of a corporate building in the 2040s. It takes place slightly in the future. So, suit corp. Where is the hitting animation? Uh, i got to zoom in and find it. Um, where is it? What is that? Oh, that's where she kicks it. This is where she hits it. Okay, so it's this one. Still almost 30 people hanging out here. That's really cool. Thank you guys for sticking with me while I'm slowly losing my sanity trying to get this to work. Whoops. Hey, kiddo. Hey. How you doing? Good. Mm -hmm. oh. You good? You have a good... Oh, your hands are freezing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All good? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yep, I, I folded all your clothes right here. I'll put, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put them in the basket later and you can put them away, okay? All right. That was my child. All righty. Hit two. Suits, corporate, hit two. All right. Do, 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 do. I have no idea what this animation even looks like. Let's find out. Of course, it, it, it'll look strange because of all the artifacting. But let's see. Um, animate. 
Wham. 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 All right. And I need a new kick. Excuse me. I don't know if you heard that. My, uh, I gave a little micro burp there. All right. Kicking it from the back. <laughs> That's an interesting, uh, out of context, that looks super funny. Um, bonk, bonk, bonk. All right. <sighs> uh, so she's got to be in front of the trash can when she does this stuff. Um, okay. And that is done from a dialogue where you choose what to do with the trash can. Clock blocked trash uh, okay all right but now uh, because all right no biggie all right uh, no biggie no biggie no biggie no biggie I just need to find the position that she goes to when she uh, um, trash interact nope um, She goes here. Okay. Okay, so if she tries to open the bin, she goes from one side, and if she kicks or hits it, she goes to another. So now I have to remember which one it is. Okay, she, she's hitting. Uh, kick, 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 yank. Seven, eight, and nine, she tries to hit it. Okay. easy enough okay and the other ones she has to go to another spot which is here-ish <laughs> I'm just guessing um, okay copy mouse coordinates uh, trash so let's see here Oops. Okay. And face up. And then she does the animation. Okay. So I got to do that with each of these. <coughs> which seems not very efficient, but I'm doing that anyway. Wait, whoops. Dang it. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Um, okay 14. And okay. All right, and then for this, she goes here. All right. This is going to bite me in the butt later. Um, that I should not have done. Uh, but let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Okay. I don't think I can go directly to that room, but let's see. This is a, this is a weird... This chapter of the game is weird because you revisit it several different times with several different things happening. Um Okay, let's see here. Nope, not working. Dang it. Okay. All right, I gotta, I gotta do this a stupid way. I gotta, um... All right, I gotta just... It's at the very beginning of the chapter, so I'm just gonna have to... Zip my way through it. Oh, the door should not be open. The door should not be open. But whatever. Okay. Yeah, now it opens. Okay, great. All right. Bloggy derp derp boppity boo. Legal derp bop bop. Burp bop bop. Nurgle nurgle. Give me take the. 
Okay. All right, so that should hopefully... Yes, now it's working. Okay. So she tries to open it and doesn't. So yank it. Nope, doesn't work. All right, hit it. Bam! She needs to be a little lower. Okay. Kick it. Wait, why does she walk over there? Why? You're going to the same exact location. Alright, why? 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 Why, Fia? Why? Okay. So hitting and kicking. You're going to the same location. So why are you moving? You shouldn't move. Why are you kicking? Why? Oh, wait. Seven. No, she just... She goes... She should be always in the same location. So why is she moving to a different location? That makes no sense at all. Ah, Freddy Frack. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. I, I knew I did this a stupid way because now when I want to adjust it, I gotta change it every single time. So I'm gonna make a function for front of bin or side of bin. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, Okay, for all of for all of that, I usually do a cutscene thing. Um, option R A uh, side bin and front bin. Seems like overkill, but I have a feeling that this that's gonna cause a bunch of problems that I don't want to have to deal with. Um, I don't, whenever I have to repeat something like that over and over again, always going to cause problems. So, um, okay, so this is side. This is to the side. Uh, okay. That's to the side. And this is to the, this is on the front. Okay. Unfortunately, whenever I have to update like a, um, a header file, that means it's got a. It takes a while to re recompile, which is a pain in the butt, but got to be done. All right, so now I'm going to go and uh, replace all of that. Okay, this is the more. This is the smart way to do it. This is the smarter way to do it. Um, okay, so R A R A uh, front bin and 14 is side bin. Okay. Okay. All right. This is front bin. Um, number nine is side bin. Um, number eight is side. Seven is side. This is why I put this off, because <laughs> I knew it would get complicated. Uh, but whatever, it's got to be done eventually, right? I guess she's she's got to revert first. I don't know. Um, Front bin and front bin. All right, let's see. Now it's got to recompile. This is going to take a bit of time uh, because now whenever you change a header file, AGS just decides I'm going to go through every single file one by one and uh, you know recompile everything. And that, because this game is so friggin' huge now, um, it just takes a bit of time. So I'll go through the chat. Oh, pigeons. Yes, pigeons. Um, Christine says, hi. I assume this is when my daughter came by and you said hello. Um, like that children's die. Hoberman's fear? I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, if, if, um, 
Latazia is a, a tester and, and she knows the, uh, the, um, the frustration I've had with pigeons mysteriously reappearing, um, reappearing uh, in, that, in that mission. Just these pigeons just keep reappearing around Fia constantly. And I think I know why it's just, a, it's, it's a bit of a faff to, to fix, which is why I put it off. Um, there's a lot <laughs> I need to just get playable. I just keep getting distracted by voice acting. Um, which needs to get done anyway, but at, I, I want to. Uh, my my new mission is to just get it, get get all the assets in, get everything playable. Um, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. I know this game has taken a long time. Uh, this game is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, some people like are are accusing me of saying, "Oh, it's because of the high resolution." Nothing to do with the high resolution. Uh, it's because I'm I'm just slower <laughs> takes me longer to do stuff now la 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 rebuilding room it's amazing so far thank you so much i i, I do hope it's worth it i mean it's uh, i've been working on this one for about uh since 2020 um although technically 2021 because i i started i started over because 2020 was such a horrible year that um i kind of hated everything i came up with so at the beginning of 2021 i I kind of rebooted the whole project and started over, and I really like the way it is now. Um, but back, um, so it's really only been three years, technically four, since I first decided I'm going to do this. Um, but it's also been six years since um, Unavowed came out. Uh, so it's been six years since my last personal project. Although, oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Uh, side pin is already defined? How is it already defined? Did I actually, like, have a... Where is it already defined? Oh, because I'm an idiot. All right. I'm trying to import it on the script instead of the header. Okay, bam. Bigger than Unavowed? Um, I'd say in terms of length, yes, it's bigger. It's longer than Unavowed. I think Unavowed was a lot more complex um, this is pretty linear. It's not as like branching, branchy as Unavowed was. I don't. Oh, I can actually. I'm surprised that it let me do that. Okay. All right. So if I kick it, no. Why? to add sound effects. Why is she going back and forth to kick it? Something's up. All right, why is she doing that? Um, okay, let me look at the kicks. Number four. Um, she goes to the front of the bin, and she kicks. Okay, what's the kick function? Um, if this is Fia... Oh! Bump left, eight... Aha! It's because I did something stupid. That's because when she originally was doing it from the side, she was too close to the bin. So I had her move to the left, so she was a little farther away. But obviously now, I don't need to do that. So I can comment those out. I am an idiot. All right. Um, and she doesn't need to face right either. She just does it. Um, okay. I am an idiot. Dave is an idiot. Okay. Let's try that again. I did the third prototype? Oh, the 3D prototype! <laughs> I wouldn't really call that a prototype. It was a jam game. Uh, that was that was 2019. It was a jam game I did, uh, which is still on Game Jolt, I think. Um, uh, it was just a jam game I did. Like It was time travel, and it was Fia and Nazo with the same actors. Um, but everything else, like the backstory, everything was completely different. Um, but yeah, it, I, it inspired the, the full game. Alright, so now let's try this again. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. It's such a simple thing. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> What's this like? She does like a crane kick. Bonk. She needs to be a little bit lower, but... Shlump. I need to add sound effects too. Um... But since I uh, I created a function for this that I only need to 
I can just have her move a little lower. I just enter in like a lower number and just once. That that's uh, so this saved me time in the long run, or at least it saved me frustration in the long run. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. So let's try kicking it. Bonk. Yeah, that just I just need to add a sound effect and that will work. All right. I, that wasn't as complicated as I thought it would be. I just I just have to jump in and then do it. Put it off and put it off until you can't put it off no more, and then it takes like five minutes because of course it does. Um, all right, with that, that's the two hour mark, and I, my throat is starting to die. I don't know how like professional streamers do this all day, like eight hours a day, but I think I'm gonna call it here. Thank you all so much for joining me. This was this is a lot of fun. Really kept me nice and focused, so thank you for that. Um, I probably do this again soon because I still have a bunch more stuff to uh, import. So, but yeah, um, thank you again for uh, for joining me. Until um, next time, thank you. Bye bye.